All right, just doing a comparison. Same volume at 40. If you are not ready for the day, same music. Now we have the micro amplifier. What's up guys, Eric from B-Side. Today I'm gonna to introduce you guys a brand new product. We call it the Micro Power Amplifier. It's a plug and play micro amplifier that you can install to your Toyota vehicles without JBL. And this product is compatible with Toyotas from our early 2000s all the way to 2019 Toyota models. So this product is compatible with a wide range of vehicles as long as you do not have factory JBL and everything connects behind your radio and depending on which Toyota model you have you may even be able to fit this micro power amplifier behind your radio so let's go ahead and do a before and after comparison we got this little cool sound equalizer meter that we're using from our phone so that you guys can see the difference of before and after uh, we already filmed our before using the volume level 40 so we're gonna compare it doing an after video after we install this we're going to use the same 40 volume and see if there's any visual difference that this app catches so we're very, very excited for this product we already installed it on the RAV4 and it really cleaned up the sound and really made the sound quality better so we hope that it does it for this Forerunner as well. So let's not waste any time and start our install. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, we're in here, we grab the really thick towel, blanket, or whatever you could place over here. And then we're gonna start removing these panels. You could use a panel removal tool. Uh, for me, I'll just like to use my hand and just grab a hold of this and just pull it towards you. Okay, it's this panel that's surrounding your climate control buttons. Okay, like that. All right, and then we're also gonna do the same for this other side over here. Okay, and sometimes this will come out by itself, and like as you can see over here, the climate control will sometimes comes out together. And after you move all this, you go ahead and go back here, press down on this release, or press down on this clip. You're gonna push it through the hole. Okay, you can use a panel removal tool. I'm just using my nails for this. Okay, and then remove this connector. Make sure when you're removing it, push down on the connector and pull up. All right. Okay, next, it's gonna expose four 10 millimeter bolts. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna go ahead and remove those. the power tool you can use a socket with a wrench doesn't matter okay next I'm gonna move this towel up here and while holding this I'm gonna pull this radio out towards you just pull it out straight okay like that and then this one has a lot of attachments to it um, doesn't matter whether it does or not it comes out the same way and once you pull it out first thing I want to do is unplug this GPS cable this one is a bit fragile and this one is the first one that it's gonna tug against, okay? We have a lot of stuff going on here because we have a front camera interface installed in addition to the throttle controller that we have. And let me go ahead and also unplug this one over here. We don't want any, any, anything pulling on it. All right, so once we get down here, I'm gonna go ahead and install our micro power amp, all right? Okay, so in here, we'll find the actual amplifier, okay? And then our plug and play harness here. So let me get this harness ready for the install. Oh, they actually use the connectors made in Japan. Sweet. All right, there's gonna be a lot of bullet connectors on here. Okay, that's how it looks. We don't wanna cross the wires so we want to do the best we can to not cross wires we're just gonna match the colors all right the white to white and then the white stripe to white stripe the purple stripe goes to purple stripe 
And then the solid purple goes to solid purple. Okay. Green stripe connects to green stripe. Green solid, green solid. Okay. All right, guys. So we just finished preparing this micro amplifier and the harnesses. You're gonna have to connect all these yourself. And I know many of you guys are gonna screw up, so be very, very careful when you're connecting everything. Just follow the instructions. I'm gonna go over it with you right now, but make sure to double check the instructions because there's so many ways you can screw this part up. Just be very, very careful or else you might end up shorting your radio or this device, okay? So as you can see here, we got two connectors here, okay? One of them is a high level input. This means it's a speaker input going in and then over here is the output, okay? The larger one over here. Um, okay, I'm gonna start off with the high level input cables. All right, so here it is right here. Basically, it's the six pin connectors, okay? And the rear speaker inputs going in to here. This is the male side, so this is the part that's gonna connect to the radio. And then the colors do match, okay? So the green with the stripe goes to green to the stripe, and the solid green goes to solid green. Same for purple, purple with stripe, and solid purple connects to the male side, which connects to this high level input. And then the other side here is gonna be the front speakers, okay? The gray and the white speakers for both front and this will also go to the male side the male connector that connects to the radio and then the colors do match again and then so that is the that completes the connection for the high level input to those two connectors and then the rest of the connector will be the larger gray connector from the micro power amplifier and don't screw this area up double check the instruction manual but basically all the colors are matching okay don't get confused with the male side and the female side okay there's going to be both sides and then there's going to be the speaker lines again okay so the front left front right and the rear left rear right that goes to the female side of the connectors okay don't get those mixed up with the male side because your sound's going to sound all messed up if you don't do this correctly so so here it is guys, okay, let me move these over, so don't screw it up, here's a video of it, there's also a photo, and there's also instructions on it, so very very careful once again, um, some of you guys are probably going to screw it up anyways, but just please don't because it's going to ruin or break either your radio or this power amplifier, okay, and we cannot be responsible for what happens, so once again, be very, very careful and then do it the right way, okay? These are, this is the male, these two females over here, and then we have two that we need to ground, this and this, okay? Oh, one thing that you might get a little confused is the amplifier remote coming from this micro power amplifier will need to connect to the power accessories, the red wire, okay? There's gonna be two, it's gonna be one extra, two extra connections, you're gonna use one of them to connect that. Everything else is all matching colors and this blue over here will not be used if you want you can go ahead and um, wrap these two with some electric tape so it doesn't touch anything because you could short something if you touch this to any part of the metal in your vehicle okay all right so we got this we're gonna plug those in uh, where this is gonna plug in is here okay that's the main one and then also here so these two okay so let's go ahead and unplug these okay there it is and then this one push down so we disconnected these two these two male from the car side and we connect them to our female harness side over here and then grab the other side the male side of our harness plug it into the factory radio this and then also like this all right and then all we have to do now is ground these two negative ring terminals. We're gonna do it on the side over here, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and just do it right here. Or you could do it here too. So let me go get an eight millimeter unscrew and I'm gonna screw it in here. 
And after that, we just need to find a place for this and then we'll be done. All right, guys, so we finished mounting the box. We mounted it all the way back. There's a lot of room back here on this 4Runner. And then what we did, we double-sided tape against this bracket here. And then on top of that, we zip tied the top just for extra security. And then the, the ground cables, we mounted it over here, okay? On this side right here. You could do it on any of the bolts. Just make it very secure and tight. All right, now that everything is in, we don't forget to reconnect the connectors that were not connected okay in this case we got two we got this one over here and then the GPS right here I know a lot of people is gonna forget to connect the GPS and complain that this made your GPS go off but that's not the case make sure you connect that don't damage it in the way and then now we're gonna tuck everything in very carefully behind the radio and then once we do that we're gonna test the difference this micro power amp made to this sound system make sure you don't pinch any wires All right. just observe where the radio is going into if you pinch any wires then you can potentially short something you don't want to short anything because you end up blowing some fuses. You don't want that. Terrific. So before we put everything in, let's just test to make sure the sound is working. Oh, it sounds different already. Can you tell the difference? All right, just doing a comparison. Same volume at 40. if you are not ready for the day. Same music. Now we have the micro amplifier. Right, guys we just did our test um it sounds amazing there's a lot bigger difference than what we expected so we're pretty excited about this new product um yeah i think you guys will be very satisfied uh, the sound became much more cleaner the bass is also hitting harder and it's really utilizing the factory speakers to its optimal capability so i think as we'll be very satisfied with this now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and reverse order the installation put back to how it is and that will conclude our installation demonstration here if you have any additional questions drop a line below or email us at info at bsonicusa.com this product will be available very soon or it might already be available. Check us out at BeatSonicUSA.com for the product. And if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe and also like our video. Thank you very much and I'll see you guys next time.